Hello, 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 guys. I am Tim Kimba, and today we are in the mini studio of Mr. Beats. And we'll see how he prepares the beat in his mini studio. He's a Ghanaian and upcoming music producer. And today we'll see how he does the magic. Guys, are you ready for him? Today we'll see how it's magic. Mr. Beat, say hello to my viewers. Hello, viewers. Charlie, today we are coming to make five beats over here. So let's get straight into this and cook up something real quick. We have this hat, mm -hmm. this nail, this cake, and I made this A to A purposely for this vlog. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into it and start cooking a bit. So, you bit want this pattern like one, two, three, one, two. So you can hear the one, two. that's the pattern you want. So it is it one two spice it up a little bit with high hat rolls mm -hmm. the same high hat see the groove the groove we are having right now so mm -hmm. the next one which is the snare so the snare with the high hat we have Then we move to our kick. I really love to make my drums first when I make my drill beats. So I get the groove, the groove of everything. With the kick, we have. So you learn all these things by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Let's look at the eight to eight. You know, I like to use the bass notes of my melody, my chord melody for my A to it. You don't want to mess up with the drill A to it. It's a key thing in your drill beat. Nice pattern over there with some couple of slides. Don't mess that out in your drill beats. And I'll get to the melody real quick and show you the bass notes of my melody because that's what I use for the A2. We have this chord progression going. show you that way the 8 to 8 I was talking about it follows the chord progression so so that's it that's how to get the right keys for your um, 8 to 8 so you just copy the base notes. So these are my base notes. Mr. Albert, I realize you are using the keyboard and the grand piano. They are keyboard on your laptop. Do you know how to play a keyboard? Actually, I don't know how to play a keyboard, bro. What you have to know is that most of them give you the keyboard interface where you can just punch the melodies in real quick so you just be punching them and they give you skills you can use so you, you don't be out of the top melodies So I decided to play this pattern with it and it's no new pattern if you if you check it it's just like my melody the bass notes this one is just down here but I wanted to 
switch it up a little bit so I brought it up an octave. Oh, okay. So that's the part. So then we get all the beats. So Then it I went, feel, right? yeah, a good feel. Mm -hmm. So then I went on to add a couple of, you know, transitions, made my arrangement out to get this. Actually, when you listen to beat, it's a loop. You have your um, your chorus and your verse. Then mm -hmm. chorus come back. Then the verse continues. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And you know I can't forget this. I tag. So I have my tag over here. Why the name is Star? You know, your producer tag is one of the main things you shouldn't forget in your music production. Mm. I chose A Star because A represents a higher grade. Mm. So I'm also bringing a higher grade in my music production, a different vibe. So I decided to choose Star, so like A Star. Yeah. So I, I just got someone to record it for me, edited it a little bit, and we have this now. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's, that's a cool beat. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Looks like that in Yeah, this is a heaven made beat. Guys, someone should come and grab it and make fire with it. I'll post this on my channel at A Style Beats. So let's listen to the beat. <laughs> 